We've seen an extraordinary demonstration today that the Prime Minister is in denial about border protection and national security. At a time of unprecedented anti-Semitism and ethno-religious tensions, I don't need to remind you about people chanting F the Jews and death to Jews and shame on Australia at the Opera House. And then there's the other examples of groups intimidating Jewish Australians and the steep rise in Jew hate incidents involving signs and graffiti and death threats. So at a time when all this is going on and when boats have started to penetrate our maritime border protection patrols, and when the government has rushed through more than 2,000 visas to bring in refugees from the Hamas-controlled war zone of Gaza, when all this is going on, the opposition has every right to ask questions. In fact, the opposition is duty-bound to scrutinise the government and make sure our nation is being protected. As we've seen with the level of anti-Semitism in our country, uh, we don't want to be fueling that disgraceful activity. Uh, so... We can bring people in in a responsible way, but during the course of a war, when we're bringing people in, we don't know about their travel documents. This, the requisite security checks that we did when we were in government are not being conducted by this government, and they're approving people out of a war zone in one day to come here potentially on a permanent basis. Uh, it's no wonder that people and right across the community, Australians don't trust the Prime Minister when it comes to managing our borders and, and keeping Australians safe. Look, these are deadly serious issues, no matter how some people want to brush them aside. We've seen before what happens when Australia loses control of its borders. Hundreds of boats come, bringing tens of thousands of people. Other people drown in the attempt, and it creates an immigration and security shambles that is costly financially and, importantly, in humanitarian terms. And while the vast majority of Australian refugee immigrants, of course, are law-abiding and constructive people... Many of our worst terrorist attacks and plots, including the Lint Cafe siege, were carried out by people who arrived here as refugees, by boat or otherwise. Now, this isn't dog-whistling or fear-mongering. This is just a statement of fact, and it underscores why security checks for migrants and refugees are absolutely critical. And the speed at which 2,200 people have been cleared from the long-time Hamas-controlled war zone of Gaza brings into question how thorough any security checks could have been. These are important issues the opposition has been highlighting, but listen to how Anthony Albanese brushes them aside. Peter Dutton is someone who no issue is too big to show how small he is. He is someone who has multiple fear and scare campaigns out there uh, every day, but it's all negative. He has nothing positive to offer the nation. It's just denial. Just denial and diversion. There's nothing positive about weak borders and there's nothing positive about weak national security. Albanese is taking on the wrong enemy, engaging in the wrong fight. Instead of a pathetic political fight with the opposition leader, the Prime Minister needs to fight the people smugglers and he needs to make sure his government is properly vigilant about keeping our nation secure in every way. I mean, have a look at the border between Gaza and Egypt. It's pretty clear that Egypt, a Muslim Arab nation, of course, does not want any Palestinians crossing into its territory. No Arab nation is taking refugees from Gaza. Why not? Palestine has never been a country. Palestinians in the past have been Egyptians, Jordanians, Syrians. Why don't these countries take Palestinian refugees? It's a moot point, and it underscores why, sure, Australia should always be generous and welcoming, but we need to be absolutely certain we are not bringing in any Hamas operatives or supporters. Albanese needs to be alert and acting on these issues, not pretending them away as an opposition scare campaign. I mean, it's his own Operation Sovereign Borders that makes some bold claims. Well, they're clearly not watching every boat. At least two boats have gotten through for the first time in a decade. 
And nor is the operation living up to its Zero Chance logo, which looks pretty comical now that a dozen boats have been intercepted and at least two have gotten through to the mainland. There is only one way for Anthony Albanese and the government to play down any fears and concerns about illegal immigration and national security. And that's not by engaging in a tit-for-tat political spat. It's by stopping the boats and ensuring we have the tightest security checks on all migrants.